Hey guys, Rick Hogg with Warhog Tactical. I want to talk to you about exiting a vehicle. Here's the thing, guys. I've got to drive this point home. The only reason I am getting out of this vehicle is this vehicle no longer is mobile. I don't care if the engine, you know, has steam belching out. I don't care if all the tires are flat. If this thing has forward momentum, this gives me survivability, gives me options. I got it. Engine's dead, not running somehow I'm blocked in and this vehicle has no movement, then yes, I have to get out of that vehicle. But too many times I see people wanting to be quick to bail out of here. Understand, the vehicle equals survivability. I may not have to draw my firearm because I may use this as my potential weapon if I was in that deadly force encounter. So just don't get so wrapped about bailing out. Bailing out, this is my last option because this vehicle is disabled. Understand this, a couple things we have to look at and you have to practice with the vehicles that you have so you understand the different parts of your vehicle. So looking at this one here, you know, I know the handle's up here. You notice just me talking here, I've already got my foot placed there. Why? Because I know when I get back into the driver's seat here, it's actually gonna be my left foot that's gonna hold this door propped open. Because a lot of guys wanna whip this thing open and again, if you're in a deadly force encounter, your heart rate's gonna be slamming and you're gonna sit there and throw this door open and nine times out of 10, it's just gonna slam right back on you or you're gonna to try to get this leg out and then you're getting smacked in the bottom of the leg. So I'm gonna sit there with the door open, kind of walk through, talk through so you guys see it. Then I'll actually close the door and then we'll get the movement. Understand this, where you exit, where you go, I can't give you the answer. It's gonna be based on the scenario. Where's the threat? What's going on? Yes, I'm demonstrating coming from this side. I might have to go out another side because it could be all threats are over here. I don't know. But just understand the general premise is we're trying to get you out of the vehicle safely and effectively. I can go forward, I can go back. For this demo, we're just gonna go back just to give you the movement. But again, always keep our mind open to where we're at. So again, guys, I'm sitting here. I've got my seatbelt on. I'm driving along and boom, this vehicle's disabled and I need to exit out of this vehicle. My left hand is coming underneath the seat belt, releasing simultaneously, I've got my pistol. And you notice the belt's there, but it's not holding me up. If I had to deal with the threat to my front or off to the sides, I can do that. Now the important part comes is if I needed to engage, great. If I just need to get out, that's fine. I have my firearm if I need it. My door handle's right there. As I open the door and push it open, you're gonna notice simultaneously my foot is coming there because I'm holding this door open. Then in turn, I'm gonna drive this foot back here to the side because now I wanna have the ability, once this door's open, I've got a quick assessment. And in this case, I'm going backwards. I know I'm coming here. I can use that back leg to drive off. Boom, my eyes are already going there to make sure that I've got no threats there. I can make my step and I can move off to the direction I need to go. And in this case, when we run this thing again, I'll kind of go to the back and just use that as cover. But again, guys, it's a matter of practicing your vehicle. You may have a different door handle. You may have ones that have automatic locks. Some vehicles, two pulls in the handle and it opens it. I don't have all the answers for your vehicles. This is why you have to go do a rehearsal on it. I'm gonna go in here, shut the door, run it through. We'll move to the back of this vehicle for this scenario for the cover, and then we'll go from there. So again, I'm in the vehicle, I'm getting my seatbelt on, I'm driving along, all of a sudden, boom, my vehicle's disabled, I've got threats to my front, that's a deadly force encounter, I'm coming down, I'm getting my seatbelt, boom, if I need to deal with those threats, I can, my support hand comes off, I've identified my handle on my door, my foot's there, I plant here, I'm gonna sit there and exit as I'm coming out, I look, I'm clear there, I can come back here, boom, and set up and deal with any threats that I have to my front. So again, it's moving where it makes sense. To me, it was move back here, use the max length of this vehicle for cover. But again, I am only exiting the vehicle because this is my last ditch effort. The vehicle no longer runs, my options are out. So just keep that in the back of your mind when you're training and your mindset when you're out there traveling. 